Hello everyone, in this video, I will be showing you how to create and submit your expense reports through Concur. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and we hope it helps. Um, to start off, I would like to um, let you all know that Concur accounts will be created upon request for each individual. So the first step is to log in using the credentials I will provide you once you reach out to me to create your Concur account. So this will show, um, I will provide you with the link and it will show up. You would type in your email and then your password and then it will take you to the screen. Next, you will click on expense up on the top. And then you will click on create a new report. Then you will fill out the required fields. Any required field will have a red um, mark. And then I will name this report sample. You can add a business purpose on, for example, what the reimbursement would be for, et cetera. And then on the bottom right, you would see um, next with the arrows, click on that. Then it will take you to the screen. This screen will show um, the expense type, which is a required field. Um, you have two options. The first one is transportation. The second one is other. We will be looking at other. And then we will click on where it says click here. This will be your expense type. After you click on click here, it will take you to this screen. On this screen, you will not change the expense type because you already um, selected it from the previous screen. You will move on um, to the next required field, which would be the transaction date. You will fill out this information, the business purpose. Um, you could say um, Uber, for example, or uh, travel. And then for a vendor description, you can type in whatever um, company you use for travel. And then um, the payment type over here, um, you're getting reimbursed. So you would select out of pocket and then you would type in the amount. And then most importantly, you have to fill out the employee group expense type. This, um, there is a code that is provided for all of the affinity groups and the code is um, on slide eight in the slides that we will provide you with. And the code is 541673. You would type that in here. As you may have noticed, when I went to type in the code, I did not change the option from the type of search. You have an option to type in the text itself or the code. I automatically click on code and just type in the code with the dash and then the 73 and then it, it will generate and you would just click on it. Um, just please be sure to select the correct code and then after that, you can add a comment if you would like, um, like a more detailed description on what the um, reimbursement is for. And then you would click on attach receipt um, on the bottom right. Once you click on that, um, I'm just gonna select any. You could always browse 
um, I have an available receipt already, so I'm just going to attach. And then you can go ahead and attach it. Once you attach this receipt, you can click on receipt image right next to your expense. It would load um, so you can double check that you selected the correct receipt before um, you uh, go ahead and save it or submit. So once you do that, you click on save on the bottom. And then it would show up um, on the left side of the screen, the expense that you have just created. So you can create as many um, transactions within one expense report. By that I mean, so I just created this sample expense report. I added one transaction that I've made or one um, reimbursement that I'm looking to get reimbursed for. Um, and it shows up, I attached the receipt for it, but I can go ahead and add another um, expense to the same report before I submit it. So once I click save again, it's gonna show up on the, on the left-hand side. And then you can click new expense up on the top, above where it says expenses and under the um, your report name. So you can click new expense. It would take you back to the same screen. And then you would click on click here again. Again, you have two options, transportation or other. You would go under other and then click here. You would click on where it says click here. And then it would take you to the screen to where it shows, um, to where you have to fill out all the required fields, plus the employee group expense, expense type. Please do not forget to um, fill out this field. It's very important um, that you do so. And then once you add all the required fields and all the information you want to add, please don't forget to attach your receipts as well as save on the bottom. And then once you do that, you can submit your report. Um, yes, you can go ahead and submit your report. Once you submit report, your report, It would go to your approver, and once it gets approved by everyone, um, you would get your reimbursement. Um, if you were to have any questions while you're creating your expense reports or you need further instructions, please feel free to reach out to hq at suite.org. We will be more than happy to further assist at any time. Thank you very much.